Hello and welcome to another episode of Levi Does a Thing and records like three hours of footage and then doesn't edit it uh, at all. Today I want to practice cutting gears. My 3D printer is out of commission at the moment. Uh, and anyway, I've kind of gotten into uh, woodworking a bit just because it's more uh, with your hands. And so I figured I would try to make a gear thing because apparently people make gears with wood and scroll saws. So we are going to try that out. So I've got gear templates right here that you can't see, that the goal is to cut them out of wood, make them do a thing, build a nice case, maybe varnish it up nice, depending on how far I want to take this. Time for my least favorite part of anything, trying to draw through a camera, but I don't know why I'm trying to draw it out. I'm not gonna draw it out. What I'm trying to do here is somewhat simple. Here, I'll actually cut out these templates a bit so I can play with them more. Well, I'm here, how are y'all doing? Long time no see. Crazy time no see, eh? I think I'm gonna cut these gears out of plywood to start with. Um, as sad as that'll be, just because if I mess up, there's a lot less pressure with plywood than if I stole some of Dad's good lumber. But the idea here is um, basically to just make a linear differential. Um, so any of you mechanic buffs know what differential is. Um, just imagine that, but instead of it being in that weird case with three 90 degree gears, uh, you've got two racks and a pinion in between them. Um, and the way I'm gonna use it is uh, the fact that as you move the racks back and forth, which I'll show, actually I'll show you just a second here. Um, but the goal is to basically make a simple mechanical adder uh, and then I can put log scales on it and it's just an overcomplicated, less accurate slide roll. The plan here is to make a mechanism along these lines where you got these two racks uh, with this gear in the middle. And what will happen is, is as you move this, oh, it's kind of nice, the friction actually helps it work, the gear will move at half the pace. And then if you move this with it, the gear will move with it, if that makes sense. So if you, you can think of it as the distance this travels is the distance that these two travel divided by two. Or you could say it's the average of these two, right? So this moves all the way out, this gear will have moved like halfway across this guy. I wanna make these as gears, so I'm gonna get some plywood, glue these things on, see if I can't cut uh, these shapes out. So in the interest of recording every little annoying snippet, this is the plan. I've got this piece of uh, wood. I'm going to cut it there with the chop saw because I'm too lazy to set up the table saw. Um, and then I will paste this on at the top piece of the square, cut it out with the jigsaw, and then cut down here to get my one rack. And then I'll be like down here, so I'll paste the other rack, cut it with the jigs, t glue it down, cut it with the jigsaw, cut that out down here. Uh, and then down here should be plenty of room to make at least one of these gears. I can probably make a few because I kind of want to practice this kind of stuff. Um, and then that method should hopefully just let me have a bit more control while I cut it as opposed to cutting it very small and then trying to wiggle it around. Uh, this should just give me more space, more area to apply pressure. I'm stopping my Chuck Mangione to record video, so you better be appreciative. Anyway, Dad showed me, Dad got this stuff like a year ago and it is the best thing ever because it's like, it's like spray on post-it note adhesive and it's fantastic. You just spray it onto the piece of wood and then you can like, you know, put your template there to cut it. Fantastic. All right, it's almost lunch break time, but that is the first rack. And hopefully it works out well. I didn't record cutting it because it was the first time I was trying to, you know, make sure I did it right. Um, that is eventually what we should be seeing. Um, and we'll see how well it fits. It looks like it might be a bit tight, um, but the nice thing is, is that is what sanding is for. So stay tuned. See, Moon River is a good song. This is the first rack. I'm going to set up the second one and I'm going to try and record a couple seconds of jigsawing it. Ooh, tech deck flip. Anyway, I'm going to try and record a couple seconds of jigsawing it just to give you an idea. Uh, it will not be entertaining. It'll not be long. End of that. Well, I'm glad I hit everywhere except the board there. Well, I accidentally cut this one a little bit too thin, like a 32nd of an inch. That was a measuring error. 
uh, because the rule measure twice cut once doesn't apply when you're just prototyping something, I guess. So I'm gonna go with this. Uh, I think I'm gonna save this piece of wood uh, to make more of these because uh, this one's bad. So especially if I wanna do anything with it, um, I'll wanna remake it. And then I've got some more board over here and I'm just going to put this on and see what I can't do. Hey there. Oh, yeah, it kind of locks up a bit. Um, it's easier. It works better with two hands, too. But uh, that is it, pre-sanded. So hopefully that's all uh, the sticking points will go away. But those are indeed some wooden gears. All right, so I don't think I showed you day of, but this is the final product. It moves semi-smoothly, except on the edges. Like there, it gets kind of stuck. Um, but it is indeed... Uh, two racks and a gear in the middle. So let's see what we can do with it. I've put some very faint markers along the outside that should allow us to do some very basic uh, multiplication. They're not accurate at all. Uh, if I make a nice one, I will print that off of the printer. Um, but you can see here, there is um, two nubs on the racks that correspond with these scales. Um, and then the uh, these no, these markings here, just that way if I take the gear out, um, I know where uh, it has to line up. This tooth has to line up here and this one vice versa, or I could flip it around. But since this is eight teeth, it doesn't matter. I am talking too much. Let's do some math. What if we wanted to do two multiplied by two and we see here that the tooth of the gear corresponds to four on the output. Well, if we want to do two here times three, oh, there, line that up, make sure this lines up. And we get six on the output. Correspondingly, if we went to four times two, we would get eight. Um, this is really cool. This is um, using logarithmic scales, where if you'll remember your log properties, log A, uh, plus log b equals log a times b. Um, so that's basically what we're doing here. As you can see, distance between 1 and 2 is way bigger than, like, you know, between 9 and 10. Um, so these are logarithmic. So that way, when you add them together, which is essentially uh, what this does when you move it, uh, what the center gear is doing, um, you get an output logarithm scale. And if you, you know, make your notches on the output also logarithmic, you'll end up with uh, the multiple of them. This is the same function as a slide rule, but because I've got three scales on it, it should it should hopefully be a lot more intuitive to people who don't know how to use a slide rule. And also it's just a bit more fun to make because it's got gears in it. <laughs> um, even if you don't understand how logarithms work, you can see you put in like five here, you put in um, four here, and you can see that it lines up with the 20. Obviously it doesn't line up very well because I'm going, uh, it's measured from as if there's a tooth here. So imagine that circle keeps going around and it would fit better. <sighs> or say you wanted to do division. What you could do is you could say, well, I want to do 20. So you line up your tooth with 20 and you want to divide it by say uh, five. So you want a five over here and you want to move your gear up to 20, about there, and you'll see that this output is around four, which means four times, means four times five equals 20. Um, but you can also use these sides as outputs to do division. Going forward, plans moving on. Make it better, uh, print out the scales. These are hand drawn with a ruler, so they are not accurate. And also, you know, I'd have graduations of like, in between all the numbers instead of just the whole numbers, um, or in this case, like the whole tens. <laughs> um, make it out of nicer wood, make it fit better, hold together better. These joints are disgusting. The dowels are not as tight as they should be and they pop off and the gears need a lot of work. Um, so, but those fixes I think are just go through, do it again, nicer wood, plan it out a bit more. Um, and this was mostly just a test to see if I could cut the gear teeth. Uh, and on that front, they did pretty good. They're not the best because it was the first try, but they did pretty good. And I can actually do some basic math on it. And I, I am okay with that. Anyway, 
This is Ben. Levi builds a thing.